Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to walk out the fucking door and then just have the power armor in front of me. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. Or what's left of it. Boylston Street, huh? I wonder if we can find out what happens to this guy. Did he make it to his, his sister's apartment? Is she dead? Is the apartment intact? I don't know. For now, though, we're gonna hop into this power armor. <laughs> Here we go! So now power armor is more like what you'd expect power armor to be, which is more of like an exoskeleton than it is uh, just kind of a suit you wear. Power armor reduces incoming damage, and also it prevents fall damage. Up here. But we got somebody up here. I don't think so, friend. <laughs> Show me that fancy gun up close. Got a lot of people here. Why would you say that? <laughs> Show me that fancy gun up close. Alright, you've got it! <laughs> Bring it on, boss! <laughs> that guy's got a name. But having a name in this world doesn't mean if you're getting your fucking armor blasted off by power armor. Can I jump? I can jump, actually. That's funny. Alright. I want to see if I can punch this guy. That works too. I'm <laughs> meleeing you with my gun! BAM! You know, you are surprisingly durable. What was that? Oh shit! Oh shit! It's a death claw! You can't reach me, boy! <laughs> I'm already in a better position! No! How dare you! I'm gonna kill you! How dare you hurt dog me! He broke my left arm, so that's not good. Ah! Oh! oh god! Oh god! Your health is low! Use a stim pack! Uh... I've got other problems! Oh, Jesus. Stim pack, stim pack, stim pack, stim, stim pack. Right. I'm not invincible in my suit, as much as I would like to be. Okay, how do I get out of here? I'm pressing tab. It's not working. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill up here. It's for the better. Let's see if I can actually... Okay, it's letting me exit it now. So if I use my goddamn stim packs... Uh, aid... Stim pack... There we go. Alright, that's all I wanted to do before. <laughs> so we're not gonna go down there, because he can just grab me and wreck my shit. Yeah, you're in trouble, but you're invincible. You'll be fine. We'll be logical today. Ow. It hit me. It hit me from down there! Uh, 
Well, at least it realizes I'm its biggest threat. This guy's scary, man. He's got a fucking skull on his name, which means he's probably like a legendary enemy. Come back! I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Data. Clear a concord of hostiles. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. Hey, boy. Here you go. Okay, so that makes me feel bad. <laughs> Where the fuck did that death claw go? Oh my god, look at this raider. That's what I'm trying to! <laughs> I'm trying to do that objective thing. I just- I don't know where everything went. Oh, there's the death claw again. Oh boy. You can't exit your armor here. I have no way to fight back. <laughs> the only thing I can do is like melee this thing or be a little bit more effective in how I handle the situation. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Ow. Holy shit, please don't get in here. Oh, that's so fucking terrifying. I don't want this. Okay, I'm trying to use my, uh... My stim packs again. <laughs> but I don't remember which button it was on. Stim pack. Oh boy. Oh! Jesus goddamn Christ! It fucking one-shotted me. Oh my lord. It is a minigun, friend! Alright. So, we're gonna... We, we, I found out that you can actually use other weapons while you're in, uh, the minigun. Or while you're in the- <laughs> the minigun itself. <laughs> while you're in the suit. So that means if I run out of ammo with my minigun while trying to kill this thing, it doesn't matter. I can just swap to other weapons. Man, this motherfucker- did I glitch him out? <laughs> I heard him enough that he's not just limping around. There we go. I was too far away to do damage. I blew off his tail with that car explosion! Yeah, this is how you handle a death claw, guys. Holy shit. Well, I played for difficulty, right? <laughs> Alright, put it on hard for difficulty. Jesus. Can I peep the power armor so I can keep carrying everything? You're carrying too much and can't run. No. <laughs> Alright, that means I'm gonna have to sift through my inventory because I have way too much crap. Alright. So, in terms of what I'm wearing, the only problem is I currently have a couple of. Thing. Yeah, okay. You can't equip this well in the power armor. I gotta get out of the power armor. <laughs> With the power armor on, it's gonna prevent me from actually, like, seeing what I can do. Alright. Let's try this again. So, chest piece. That would increase how much I have. There is no durability anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. So, we'll equip that. And draw. Actually, can I do this? Oh, it's cycling through the, the damage resistances. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna go with- we're looking for base defense. 
And if it doesn't raise up my thing, then I'm gonna drop it so that way I have a little bit more room <laughs> on my character. Ooh, sack hood. No, those things are weird. We're gonna try and keep some of these so that way I can at least sell them. They don't have an incredibly large value, but whatever. Ooh, sweater vest in slacks. It doesn't have any differences from the thing I'm currently holding on, I think. Hold up. Chest armor. So the chest piece I'm wearing on has four defense. Never mind. <laughs> Never fucking mind. The sweater vest and slacks definitely don't have anything going on for them except for their value. Okay, fuck it. We're just gonna toss away a bunch of things. I don't want to, but I have to. We're keeping the wedding rings forever, though. Just to remind us of the things we've gone through. Shoot through that? Unequip my- okay. Alright. It's hard to tell. I wish it would show, like, a little bit of an icon. Are these chess pieces? Are these not chess pieces? I don't know what a long john is. It's not highlighting it, so that means it might be my undersuit. Yeah, okay. That's my- that's my underclothes. What the fuck? Fuck it, we're going in the vault suit. <laughs> it has a lot of things going on for it. You know, it'd be very interesting if someone could take your power armor. I doubt they can, but again, it'd be interesting. It would suck, but it'd be interesting. Okay, uh, I want the stim pack. That's all I want. I guess I could take the Molotov cocktail as well. Ugh, I'm ready over weight again. <laughs> Damn it, this is what I'm gonna increase my- uh, that's what I'm gonna use on my perk chart. Hold up. Strong back! There. I have 25 more weight. I don't have to worry about things as hardcore. Do I have an extra point? I do not have an extra point. Alright, we're level 3. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> it's where the death clock came out of. This is interesting. Is there anything I can check out down here? Ooh. Concord Civic Access. Huh. What the hell is down here? Is it another metro system? Oh, jeez. What the fuck is that? It's not alive. All right. <laughs> is it a mire lurk? Oh, God, it's a mire lurk. Yeah, we're just gonna go back up to the surface. We'll come back down here in a bit. Uh, <laughs> I just feel, uh, I don't think I want to be down here. We have to do our opening mission stuff first, right? Where we get guided along a certain way, we get told to go to Boston, and we go all the way over there. Well, I'll definitely check this place out before I leave Concord. I still have ba bases and things to look at. But I do want to get to somewhere and actually, like, start trading some of the shit that I have. The whole reason I'm grabbing a lot of these things is so I can sell them for money. Now I have to be all specific and stuff. Pipe pistol, we'll take the pipe pistol. That has value, I can sell these things. So many dead raiders, so many things to loot. The fuck? Oh! <laughs> I blew up the goddamn sandbag by running through it with my suit. That's funny. Should I be taking my power armor all around the place? I'm pretty sure that fusion cores are going to end up being like a commodity that we do have to keep finding. That was a pretty amazing display. 
I'm just glad you were on our side. We're not friends. Feelings mutual. Everyone okay? You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while anyway. We can at least move some... Listen, move someplace safe. When we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Sweet, 50 fusion cells. I guess that's for my my uh, laser musket. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. Oh, all right. Uh, Sanctuary is where we used to live, so fuck yeah. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel... Your son's energy. He's alive. Okay. Uh, thank goodness. <laughs> Where is Sean? Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Okay. <laughs> That's vague. No, alright, so we gotta check out Diamond City. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. <laughs> Mama Murphy, we talked about this. <laughs> junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly turn out any worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, I could tell you guys that I know about Sanctuary. It's it's literally just the name of <laughs> the town over here. Don't worry. I'll get these people to Sanctuary. I'm sure Preston can handle anything we find until we reach Sanctuary. We owe you. No doubt about that. <laughs> people still just disappear through walls. Whoosh. Yeah, I'm going ahead. You're kidding me. Oh my god, I can't leave until these guys get out of the way. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's one at a time, boys. No wall to be fought or anything like that. Just take a time. So, get the price we paid to get this far. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this suit. Obviously, I can't keep it forever. Look at the fusion core thing going down at the bottom right. Right behind you, boss. We're gonna escort these guys to Sanctuary. Cause then I can also drop off the suit at the Red Rocket area. Alright, we gotta keep an eye out for any enemies. I like that in first person we get this nice little HUD. It's supposed to be representative of the suit and everything. So where's Diamond City? I just cut one of them off. Diamond City is way down here. Oh, that's a lot of exploration to do along the way. Okay. I still can't believe you took that thing out. First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead. 
Oh god! I didn't expect to blow its head off like that. I blew up a fucking car to damage it this time around. And so now I know, in the future, I need to blow shit up on it a little bit more. More cars? A rocket launcher? Anything? We'll see. Let me put a marker here so I remember. I wish I could name markers. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh well, at least I can fast travel. That's the one thing to remember. Okay, that's not the music I want to I want to hear right now. <laughs> You're just walking around and do do Oh god, there's enemies everywhere! Oh, turn off the fucking radio! Oh, I do have a fucking light on. There we go. Hey, sounds like you better get going to Diamond City. You sure? I can escort you to Sanctuary. It's really not that far. It's literally up the road. I can't believe we're going to Sanctuary just because Mama yeah. Murphy had a vision. Mama Murphy. Get going. Diamond City is where you need to head. Sturgis. You coming with us to Sanctuary? Ugh, I can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> I didn't think any of us were getting out of that museum alive. Excuse me. Where are we going? Oh, Jesus. What are we shooting at? Blood, blo uh, blood bug? What the fuck is a blood bug? Ugh. Uh, I didn't pass by any of these on the way here. <laughs> Although I did kind of come in from that little area over there, from the cave, straight down to Concord. Alright, as much as I really, really, really would like to keep this power armor, I'm dropping it off as soon as we're passing by Red Rocket. I'm gonna keep this thing on reserve, and eventually one day, if I have like 15 or 20 power cores, we'll wander the entire wasteland with it. I wonder if I can take fusion cores from these cars. I want to find stuff out later on. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I guess I can just take all the parts. There we go. Here. Take the power armor bits. I don't know where the power armor bits are gonna be, but they're down here somewhere. Here we go. T-45. Helmet. Left arm. Left leg. Right arm. Right leg. Torso. I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the power armor. <laughs> I feel so bad just leaving it out here. It's really like driving me nuts. Also, I look stupid. Oh, hold up. What's my thing at? I can carry up to 285. I can still carry this minigun casually. That's funny. All right. Hey guys, <laughs> still got the minigun. It's good to know that I can actually just kind of ditch some of my stuff around the area, or at least at the workshop. I'm gonna assume that the workshops all share... Uh, the same thing. So if I go to a workshop at the end of the map, it's gonna share the same resources as the one over here. It's the monument to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means... this right here... must be the Old North Bridge. Where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss. But I'm glad you're happy about it. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Preston's just a dude who's brushed up on his history 200 years after the fall of humanity. Oh, hey. Mongrel dog meat. And this guy, hello. 
I will take this drifter outfit gladly. All right. Now I look a little bit more appropriate for the apocalypse. But wait, does it mean I can't carry all these other things? Oh no, I, I do still have them on. It's just underneath my suit, I suppose? Hold up. Yeah, I can't see all those uh, raider pieces. Look, I'm like you now. I just need your hat. I could pickpocket your hat. <laughs> Take it for myself. Except I have very low, probably, sneaking skills of any kind. I probably could have just legitimately left and just met them back up at Sanctuary, but I felt the need to kind of follow them around, make sure they get settled in. You're carrying too much and can't run! Damn you, grenade! Damn you! Yeah, we'll transfer some stuff out of my inventory. Uh, apparel? I could also do weapons. Weapons end up being pretty goddamn hefty. Goodbye to you! Except... How much are these worth anyways? Value 28! Oh no, we need those back. Hold up. <laughs> uh, I like that value. It doesn't seem like much, but it'll all add up. Eh, we'll get rid of the apparel then. Goodbye, vault ju jumpsuit. We can always come back here and get it later. That's like I'm leaving it inside the trash can. I'm assuming it's gonna remember this stuff later on. Alright, you know, while we're here- uh-oh. Trouble? He raised up his gun, so I was a little bit worried. Anyways, while we're here, I'm actually gonna change the color of my pit boy <laughs> We're gonna put it back to, uh... Let's see, display... We're gonna bring it back down to a different color. Oh, cool, I can actually see it changing in the background. I like it being green, I do like green more. <laughs> There. Green Pip-Boy. Even if the world ends up being colored green, that's fine. And then we'll even change the HUD color to be a little bit more blue. There. I believe that's a little bit more in line with the older Fallout colors. I do like the dark green, but... Customization is key. I feel like with the green light, everything's gonna be irradiated. Where are you going, boy? I think the entire place is clear, so we don't have to worry about anything. Alright. So, if I press F, I can see what I have equipped. Five will be my laser musket. Four is my pistol. And I have to go through my other weapons I actually got. Hold up. We got this pipe revolver rifle that we got beforehand. Or was it the short pipe revolver rifle? <laughs> I just don't know. Alright. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Uh, strange being back. I lived here. Yeah. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? I don't want to talk about it. No, just my son. My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Yeah, sure, but what do I have to do? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. 
I like these little animated quest things. Bye. The Minuteman could use someone like you. Okay. Dog meat found something. What do you got, dog meat? I'm following you, don't worry. Excuse you, Mr. Rat or Rad Roaches. <laughs> Ooh, he found some packs for me. Good job, boy. Oh my god, I wish I could just give you a pet. Yeah, who's a good boy? We gotta kill these rats now. Ow. I think I just heard the ra the roach get murdered immediately. All right. So now that we're back here at Sanctuary, we actually will have access to a workshop here. to be able to you can't talk to the dead kid. even the site has limits i'm sorry well oh, poor guy mama murphy sanctuary i knew you'd join us here kid your energy is tied to this place yeah i did live here before I used to live here a long time ago ah but the distant past ain't so distant for you I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. <laughs> uh, no more chems. <laughs> I don't want to give it to her. But I'll ask her the question. What is jet? What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the sight, so it's not always gonna be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Maybe later. I'll have to debate it morally. Maybe. Let me think it over. Well, ain't like I'm going anywhere. The sight will be here when you need it. Bring jet to Mama Murphy. <laughs> that sounds like such a bad idea. All right, settlers need food, water, a bed, and shelter. Increase your settlement's happiness rating by providing each settler with all these basics. All right, so now we have an actual settlement that we can manage. Once these basics are met, you can also increase overall happiness by raising the settlement's defense rating. This will also reduce the chance that your settlement will be attacked. All right, so they need many things. Defenses, can I make a turret? In order to make a turret, I actually have the resources for it. I can make a machine gun turret, I can make a heavy machine gun turret! And then, later on, eventually I can make missile turrets. Neat, 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 neat. I wanna make a spotlight. Like a bunch of spotlights. To illuminate the area. But we only have two circuitry, so I have to kinda of be cautious about that. Oh boy. There's so many things that we need power. How does power work? We have generators, we have lights. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to run around this place and like deconstruct everything because look at all this stuff that I need that I don't really have. I mean, I do have things for the lights, but you know. That death long conquered was bad news, huh, Mama? You ever seen one of those I need other components. Oh, sure. Plenty. One time, I killed a death crawl all by myself. No power armor, fancy minigun, just a pipe pistol, and one bullet. You telling me you killed a death claw with one bullet? Come on, what do you take me for? It's true, I might not look it, but back in the day, I had quite the shot. Yeah, or quite the imagination. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, oh, hey. The world's getting foggy. Atmosphere. All right. I'm going to deconstruct everything in this area. You willing to do some work? Uh, yeah. What do you need? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. I already did it. <laughs> I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. 
Build sheltered beds for sanctuary settlers. Done. <laughs> I got this damn suit now. Okay. So will this allow me to craft it now? Aha! There you go. So I can craft stuff for my power armor whenever I place these things directly in front of them. I figured that out. I apologize for the people who are probably like, No, Gollum, don't leave your power armor all the way at the Red Rocket Station! Blah. Although I did get to see a neat little thing. Apparently, uh, it shows your power armor on the map. So you always know where it is, where you left it if you had to get out. And I also know what the that 50 fusion core was. Apparently he gave me an extra fusion core and its charge was at 50. He didn't give me 50 fusion cores for like a rifle or something. So, <laughs> it's good to know. And I can just kind of swab them out, I suppose. Interesting. I want to leave some things here, though. So I did- I already made some houses- or houses. I, I made some beds. I didn't actually go around and scrap everything I was going to try to. That's still for later. I ended up just kind of like digging around and seeing what I could accomplish. And so I learned about having to make defenses. I have a couple of turrets just kind of chilling out here. Uh, I made a guard post that's supposed to be being defended by Sturge. A couple of spotlights for when it's nighttime. I'd like to make more so that way there's always light around the area. I made this little house. Which is a prefab that I stuck a door on. <laughs> Hopefully in the future I can make something more advanced. And if the houses that you ran into are completely and utterly demolished and have the roofs caved in and stuff, you can actually just straight up scrap those for a fuckload of resources. So like this couple, these couple of buildings over here. Yeah, don't jinx it, man. I can actually scrap these. So this is an interesting system. I have so much more to figure out. And it feels a little bit tedious to have to go over to every individual resource and scrap them. But oh well, <laughs> it'll leave nice little empty lots so that I can stick stuff on. But holy shit, look how wide the settlement barrier is. <laughs> it goes all the way to the river. I don't know exactly how the summits work in that regard. But eventually in the future, I'm gonna have to, like, probably, if I get a lot of people here, stick to fences all along the riverbed, stuff like that. It's just gonna be a whole lot of experimentation. But I think for now, I'm generally... ...done with a couple of things. I'm gonna talk to Sturge. What in the fuck? How'd she get up there? How's she gonna get down from there? <laughs> Sturge? Where the hell did he go? Maybe he actually went to go do his job that I signed him to do. Fuck, where the hell is he? That's what this bell's for. It's a uh, get your ass over here alert. Oh, you know, we haven't talked to uh, Codsworth. Codsworth, how do you feel about all these people? Maybe you should take care of them. Mr. Anthony, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Yep, we got some new friends. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realized that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Would you like to? As you wish, sir. <laughs> okay, well, uh, maybe not for now. Let's I'd trade. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. Can I actually sell stuff to him? Because I really, really like to. No, it's just a storage thing. Alright, Mr. Codsworth, you're now my mobile <laughs> weight carriage thing now. We're not, we're good. I was hoping I could tell him to take care of the people here. That would have been nice. But apparently he's just a companion. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. Drink from the river. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Like a well. Then we don't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. <laughs> and we back up. And we come back in. Sturgis. I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help. But our food supplies are running low. If we're going to settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. 
What kind of crops are you looking for? Well, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Where can I get those? Uh oh. <laughs> he pulled out his gun, I so that made me worry. Trade a few things. Can I actually sell you things, man? Because I'm tired of carrying stuff around. Let me give you... Let me give you a baby rattle. No, nope, it's a fucking storage shit again. God, I gotta get to Find Diamond nice City. Of ground and plant whatever you've got. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. Okay, that's the one thing I didn't have complete. Uh, there's food over here. Harvest. Growing well. Okay. So, should I plant... Can I plant this other corn? Let's see. No, I'm not trying to store the corn. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit of a clunky system, to be honest. Of trying to get around. Oh my gosh. It's definitely more suited for, like, console controllers than it is, like, PC. It's not bad for PC, but it's not great either. Okay. Here's some more corn. And it requires somebody to resource or grab that too? Oh, jeez. Who's already picking this one? Is that lady? I don't know where the hell she is. That's why we got a bell. <laughs> what the fuck is hey, she doing up there? Do you have a moment? Uh, I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Hey man, don't worry. I'll be alright. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. Your son? What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. Interesting name, June Long, for a kid. <laughs> That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. No. No, they shouldn't. I just keep thinking. Maybe I could have done more. Anyway, thanks again. No, oh, I was wondering if he was going to assign me a mission. Hey there. Remember to assign somebody to take care of the crops. They need looking after if we're going to harvest anything. Help out or get lost. Oh, you're definitely being assigned to corn duty. I just need to trade gear with you. <laughs> no, I don't. Give you the idea we're friends. Yeah, no, you are definitely going to work with the corn. Here. Gather this. I'm wondering how- so like, why well, put this first one here, and it didn't require someone to have to go towards it. Maybe someone automatically assigned themselves to it. But I think we're good. It shows green for the requires part, which means that is finished. I just wish I had more food items. And with the water, you can just stick these well things anywhere. These water pumps, and that's funny. But these, I actually have to gather food items around the world. Or wait for the corn to grow and harvest it again. Hmm. Speaking of food, though, I actually gotta take a break. <laughs> I have been playing for about four hours. And I haven't even had breakfast yet. So, I gotta get to that. Be right back. Mm -hmm.